Time have arrived for Monday, July 28th, 8 o'clock. I hereby call the City Council to order. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors. Again, just because we're in summer session, for your calendars, please put down. We will be back here on Monday, August 18th. That's the third Monday, 7 o'clock. That's Finance Committee, August 18th. We will then be here the following week at 8 o'clock, August 25th. That will be 8 o'clock, full City Council here. August 18th, <coughs> August 25th. Mr. Clerk. Okay. The appointment of James L. Bragg, Grant Avenue, Brockton, as a member of the Water Commission for a three-year term ending July 2017. That is referred to Finance Committee. The reappointment of Philip M. Decas, <coughs> Augusta Avenue, Extension, Brockton as Constable in the City of Brockton for a term of three years. Referred to Finance Committee. Councils, before I'm gonna, I'm gonna recognize uh, Council Bonds. Before I do, I was remiss to say, there is a chance that the live telecast tonight uh, will go off. So those watching it tonight, I was notified that there's a little glitch with the wiring on, com on Comcast. So if you lose us tonight, it will be replayed again tomorrow, but let's cross our fingers. Councilor Bonds. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we take number 49 out of order. Second. Motion yeah. made, properly seconded, take number 49 out of order. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed, motion carries. Councilor. And on the motion, um, I would ask that there are some members here from the Frederick Douglass um, Neighborhood Association that would like to speak. And with time uh, being the way it is, the next meeting is after the event. And they wanted to uh, make sure that the folks at home and that we were made aware of what's coming up. And if um, they got Absolutely, Councilor. There's no objection to that, right, Councilors? No, no objections. objections. Thank Good you, evening. Council. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor Barnes, for allowing this uh, invitation to be received and to offer first a thank you to the, the council uh, for the brothers that um, voted in 2003 to rename High Street to Frederick Douglass Avenue. And that's what we have come here tonight to announce a celebration that will take place on Sunday, August 17th. And uh, it can be at the same time a celebration and an establishment of the Frederick Douglass neighborhood association in the area around the avenue in downtown Brockton, but also be a beginning of a community education that we invite you to help us with. We have the Liberty Tree Faith Quilt, which commemorates the tree that once stood on Frederick Douglass Avenue. That will be part of a celebration, and our community education will be to show how Frederick Douglass has deep roots in this community in an historic way because of the communities that live here. He has Cape Verdean ties, he has Haitian ties, he has Irish ties, he certainly has ties to the women's rights movements and for that we give great celebration and also as a uh, former slave, he led the efforts for abolition and most definitely came through this area to um, on the Underground Railroad or to assist those who were on it. So all of these things we're celebrating. We kick it off tonight with yourselves and we hope that you'll put it on your schedule along with Summerfest for that weekend. It's a Brockton staycation weekend. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. If you could just state both of you ladies, state your name for the record. Jill Wiley. Good evening, counselors. I'm Lynn Smith. And I look forward to seeing all of you August 17th from 1 o'clock until 5 o'clock. And at 4 o'clock, we're having hot fudge Sundays. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Council Monaghan will definitely be there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll make sure I tell Chris McMillan he'll join me. <laughs> Mr. Brady. I think I, and Mike uh, Brady. Yeah. <laughs> you get a vote on it, huh? Yeah, that's, that's why absolutely. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, again, uh, Mr. President, Good if I may have a moment. Um, there's a young lady who is in the gallery tonight. Her name is Kamisha Latour. I want to say Lafort, but it's Latour. Um, and she was actually recently crowned uh, Miss Black Massachusetts for 2014. And um, that's a, a, a wonderful, wonderful feat. She's a Brockton native, Brockton High graduate. She currently goes to Babson College, and uh, I believe she's going to be graduating early. Um, from college to pursue her, her career in, um, in journalism and communication. I met with Please her. Please come up to the podium. Oh. So yeah, absolutely. Thank I you. I met with her um, last week, and she is on her way to Washington, D.C. To, um, to compete for the Miss Black USA. And I just wanted to make sure that uh, she get recognized and so that folks here in Brockton can see who is representing us in the Miss Black um, pageants around the nation. And let's see. 
the council actually uh, would like to present you with an official citation. Should I go over there or just stand here and read it? Go over, there. Go over okay. I'm coming over. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So I'll just read it. Um, the city of Brockton, it's an official citation, official citation, be it known, that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Kamisha Latour, Brockton resident, in recognition of winning Miss Black Massachusetts 2014 and will be competing for the Miss Black USA in Washington, D.C. And be it further known that the City Council extends best wishes and continued success that the citation be duly signed by the President of the City Council and attested to a copy thereof transmitted by the clerk of the council, and it is signed uh, by our council president, Mr. Robert Sullivan, our clerk, and it's presented by myself, and I just want to say congratulations. You're a, you. a wonderful shining star for young girls and young boys in Brockton, and just bring home the crown, bring home the glory. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Best of luck. Thank you very much, Councillor. Mr. Clerk, if we could read number 49. All right. Order that Three. the Committee of Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association appear before a committee of this council to promote <coughs> 10 year anniversary celebration for the renaming of High Street to Frederick Douglass Way. That's referred to finance. We're going to go back to number three. Petition the National Grid proposing to install <coughs> four foot, four inch conduit, concrete and case between MH226 and MH11 Montella <coughs> Street at Ward Street, AKA Petronelli Way, approximately 31 feet. New conduits are required due to the national grid okay. extending new primary power yes. for the residents at Center and Main Street and the Enterprise Building. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward to the podium. Anyone here in favor relative to this matter? Stand a motion to postpone. Mr. Meeting. President, Mr. President. Councilor. Uh, uh, we, can we postpone this till the end of the meeting and see if they do show up because. Oh, oh step oh, forward. Please step say anybody from National Grid in the, in the audience, but I'll come right here. I ask you to please come forward, sir, forward. and state your name to the podium, please. Yes, Councilors. Um, Jim Pearson, Operations Engineer for National Grid. We are requesting the conduits to serve yeah. the new development actually right over here. Um, those conduits are required, A, to provide service to that new building, as well as rebuild our underground network that we have in this area. Presently, the part of that network is over 100 years old. And as a lot of the old buildings have been coming down, we've been rebuilding it with new cables and getting customers off the network onto a new system that we're building. And these conduits are going to be instrumental in picking up this new complex over here. So we're here before you tonight to request permission for those conduits. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Councilor, any questions? Mr. President? Councilor. Uh, sir, would you come back to the podium, please? Now, you'll be uh, reconstructing this on Petronelli Way, correct? Uh, at uh, the intersection of Petronelli Way at North, Mart North Martello Street, right that corner right there, correct. When, when do you expect to be doing this work? we like to start immediately. We have been pulling cables um, within the last week. We got about a month's worth of work ahead of us. And as in good faith, we did, we're doing our cable work, but we will need this piece to connect into that duct line that goes up petulantly away that's going to pick up that complex. So that should be detoured when you start doing that work, I would assume, correct? There will be a, there will be a, a cop with us. There will be yes. a detail. Okay. And he, he'll control the traffic for us. Okay, very Thanks. good. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank Council you, Mr. Bond. President. Uh, excuse me, sir. How long do you think that's going to take for, from cut to... Oh, the, to install the two conduits, about two days at the most. It won't take that long. It's only 31 feet. It's very short, very oh, okay. narrow trench. Okay, so it won't be too much of a disruption to traffic and. No, we'll have a detail with us. Okay, yes. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so is there any questions for the gentleman? Anyone else here in favor? If so, come forward. Please state your name. Anyone here? Anyone here? I'm going to close that part of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final. Anyone here in opposition? The matter's closed. We're going to vote on this at the end of the meeting. Thank you. Petition of Verizon New England, Inc. and Massachusetts Electric Company requesting permission to relocate one pole, pole 54 slash 41 on Pleasant Street. This petition is necessary in order to accommodate uh, MDOT Project 600365. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare that part of the hearing open. If anyone's here 
On this matter, please come forward. Good evening, ma'am. Hi. Kellyanne Condon on behalf of Verizon. And this was to accommodate the Mass Department of Transportation work widening the sidewalks, putting handicap ramps and everything. Um, this particular pole couldn't stay relatively close because of the duct bank there. So we did have to move it back 52 feet to tie into where we could at the duct bank. Thank you, ma'am. Any questions? Council. Council. Uh, just uh, where exactly is that pole? We're about on Pleasant Street, do you know? Um, if you measure northerly from, I'm sorry, if you measure easterly from the centerly line of North Ash Street, the new pole location will be 120 feet. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Councils, any other questions? Seeing none. Anyone else here in favor? Anyone here in favor about this? Seeing none, I'm going to close that part of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Anyone here in the chamber in opposition? Seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed as well. We're going to act on it at the end of the night. Thank you very much, ma'am. Petition of Court Street Realty Trust for Garage License, located at <coughs> 369 Court Street, in City Clerk's Office, June 24, 2014. Hearing is signed for July 28, 2014, at 8 p.m. All the necessary paperwork is on file, and the fire department has no objections. Time haven't arrived, I declare the hearing open. Sir, if you could please state your name for the record. Good evening, our President, um, Councils. My name is Enrique Fernandez. I'm the owner of 369 Court Street which is five corn auto sales, and I'm trying to obtain my garage and repair license also in that property. Thank you, sir. Councilor Denapoli. Thank you, Mr. President, and good evening. Good evening. Uh, I have, uh, uh, if you read uh, down uh, uh, article, uh, the petition number uh, six coincides with this, and I have stipulations on both the garage license and the uh, uh, repair license that will be going with the auto sales. So at the end of that, I would uh, have stipulations on that. Councilor, I'm, uh, I'm under the belief you can't put stipulations on a garage license. You can do them on the repair. Well, on the repair, but not on the garage, you can't. Of the number of vehicles in the garage, I believe we can. I don't think so. Cannot? No. Okay. It's in the application, right? No, it's in the application. All right, that's, that's fine. I'll, I'll accept that. Thank you, Councilor. We just don't want to see what happens with the... Uh, car wash situation. Yeah, relative to the number of the cars, it's in the application itself, so they have to stipulate that as such. Anything else, any, any other councils have a question for the, for the applicant? Anyone else here in favor relative to this matter? Council Stewart, did you have a question? Mr. President, I just want to make certain I uh, know what the stipulations are before we uh, cast our votes. That would be on the, the, the number six, correct? Um, We're on number five right Okay, now. all right, thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Anyone else here in favor relative to this matter? If, for, if so, please come forward. Anyone here? I'm going to close that part of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final. Anyone in opposition? That part of the hearing is closed. Matter comes before us now. Entertain a motion, Council. Motion to approve. All in second. favor of granting the license? Oh, we don't second. Council. All opposed. License is hereby granted. Number six, please. Petition of Five Corner Auto Sales and Service for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License, located at 369 Court Street, in City Clerk's Office, June 24, 2014. Hearing is signed for July 28, 2014, at 8 p.m. The uh, necessary paperwork is on file, and there are no objections by the fire department. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. Uh, you're here in, in favor. If you could state your name again, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Enrique Fernandez. Council Denapoli. Uh, Mr. President, I will implement, uh, uh, after you close the portion of this, uh, the stipulations on this garage, and I will read them. Great. Thank you, Councilor. <coughs> uh, Councilor Bond. Yes, I have a question. This is the, uh, the property right on the corner of North Cary and... In Court Street. Court, correct? Yes, on the right-hand side as you're going up the hill. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So with your repair um, prospects, I guess, have you, I guess, introduced yourself or, or made yourself uh, aware that that business is going to be back, back up and running to the neighbors there. There's a business right behind and a business that directly abuts, and they're pretty, um, pretty bustling businesses. So with the noise maybe from the repair, have you worked that out with, the, with them, with your neighbors, that that's coming? Or? No, I never really worked. I mean, I, they, knew, they knew that where that the garage would be. Like, so they never had no oh, I'm problem. sorry, I can't, I can't hear you clearly. I spoke to several of the neighbors. They never had no problems and no issues with me. Uh, Open up repair. Like, as long as I'm out there late at night, I imagine, so I don't keep them awake. Okay. Like I, like I said, I've been, I've been doing the same business in the city of Brockton over 12 years. And uh, my old location is be 65 Court Street, which I had residents on top of me. And I never had no problem. I had my old license that I turned in back in October. Mm -hmm. But since I relocated, I bought the new place. You know, I, know, I understand about residential. I respect that. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I guess that's why I'm trying to get where the time is where I don't interrupt him at night. Okay, great. Community. Thank you, I appreciate that. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank Thank you. Lots. Councilors, any other questions? Anyone else here in favor relative to this matter? Anyone here in favor? Business. The part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in the chamber in opposition relative to this matter? Mm -hmm. Third and final? That matter is closed. Councilor Denapoli. Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, these are the stipulations that we are going to put on the uh, repair license uh, at Five Corner Auto Sales slash Court Street Realty, which is the same person is running both businesses. Uh, we can't do anything with the inside storage, but we're going to, we, we come up with a situation where it will be four. The number of vehicles stored outside will be four. There'll be no storing of wrecked or damaged vehicles on the property, and there'll be no outside storing of auto byproducts. There'll be no pay phones or vending machines. The hours of operation we worked out with the neighbors and the gentleman that's applying for the license. The hours Monday through Friday will be 7 to 8 p.m. on Saturdays, 7 to 6 p.m. No Sundays and no holidays. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Stewart. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. Uh, Mr. Fernandez, correct? Yes, sir. Um, so are you uh, comfortable with those stipulations on your business and you, are you certain you can make a profit with those hours that are stipulated? Yeah, I'm, fine. I'm fine with stipulation. Okay, and I ask that question because as you may be aware, the city has a pretty aggressive code enforcement team and in the past I've had business owners come to me who um, frankly they've lost their businesses because they lost their licenses because they couldn't um, comply with the stipulations and so um, I think they may have agreed to stipulations that were not to their financial advantage um, or their benefit and I don't want to see another business get in that situation so based on your business plan the hours of operation are suitable for you correct yes sir it is Great. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. Council Rodriguez. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Um, uh, I just want to state for the record that I've known Mr. Fernandez for most of our adult lives as we basically attended school together. We're a few years older than he is, but uh, we were at Brockton High School basically right around the same time. And he's a person of good character and, and sound uh, management style and stuff, and I urge my fellow councilors to approve his license. For thank, you, thank you, Council. Thank you, sir. Council, anything else? Matt is going to come before us with the stipulations, the license to be granted with the stipulations attached there too, as stated by Council Denapoli. All in favor of granting a license with stipulations? All opposed? License is granted with stipulations. Mr. President, thank you, thank you, you Council. Have a good Appreciate evening. It. Have a good night. Mr. Clerk. Petition of AL Prime Energy Consultants, <clears throat> Inc., for an underground storage license located at 757 Crescent Street in City Clerk's Office, May 27, 2014. Hearing and signed for July 28, 2014. All unnecessary paperwork is on fire. The file and the fire department has no objections. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare this part of the hearing, uh, this hearing open. Anyone here in favor, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. My name is Brian Shannon. I'm the real estate manager for AL Prime Energy Consultants Incorporated. We're here to try to get the license, the underground storage license transferred from the Ness Realty Trust AL Prime Energy. Thank you, Mr. Sheen, for being here. Any questions, Councils? Mr. President. Council Denapoli. Uh, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Um, first of all, uh, it, it's nice to see the gas station open again. And this is uh, right in front of Carefree Towers, in front of Supreme Donut Shop. And uh, it looks very, very nice. Thank and you. I, uh, how long have you been open right now? I think we're open approximately two months. Two months? OK. And, it, and we, uh, as you know, we have two other locations. No, no, I Park. understand that. It's just, it, it just took you a while to come in front of us to get the story. What happened was I, uh, wasn't, I was trying to get all the paperwork and in, in information that I needed to make the uh, application, and then we missed the meeting of a month ago, and then we filed, and then it took this the month time to get on, onto this docket. So I believe we were in, in touch with the city clerk's office in an appropriate amount of time, oh. but it did, it did lag a little bit. No, you, you were, you didn't break any laws. I was, I was on top of it. Okay. And I thank, thank you very much and, uh, and good luck on your business. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Councilors, any other questions? Anyone else here in favor? If so, come forward. Anyone else here in favor? That part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in opposition on this matter? Third and final? That part of the hearing is closed. License is before us now, Councilors. All in favor of granting license? All opposed? License is hereby granted.
Report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of July 21st, 2014. John says that's accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of July 21st, 2014. That too is accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Acting Chief of Police requesting authorization to expand grant monies related to the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Department of Mental Health, Fiscal 2015, Jail Diversion Grant. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That also is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the acting DPW commissioner requesting approval for the land taking of 96 temporary easements and four permanent easements in relation to the West Elm Street Reconstruction Project. In order to finance the project, the city will expend from appropriated uh, Chapter 90 funds in the amount of $77,200 as follows. Temporary easements, 96 awards, $72,900. Permanent easements, four awards, $4,300. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the Also same. accepted and placed on file. Yeah, but Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council grant the temporary construction easements and or permanent easements for highway purposes. Said easements are to benefit the abutting properties by allowing for an orderly transition between the new work and said abutting properties and related work. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council declares 226 Main Street, Map 110, Route 19, Plot 368, available for disposition and sale, and further authorize the sale to the Mass Division of Capital Assets Management and Maintenance for the purchase price of $1. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Emergency Management Director requesting that the City Council accepts the donation from Market Basket in the amount of $150. The donation will be used to build a water and food reserve. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the acting DPW commissioner requesting to appropriate $1,750,000 through borrowing authorizations. This request is for the conventional replacement and rehabilitation of deteriorated sewer mains, services, and manholes across the cities. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That also is accepted and placed on file. And from the CFO relative to the that same. That too accepted and placed on file. Communication from the acting DPW commissioner requesting appropriation totaling $99,000 to purchase 15 new surveillance cameras at a cost of $6,600 each for the Department of Public Works Refuse Division. The purpose is to place them in known dumping areas within the city. This equipment should aid our efforts to eliminate illegal dumping within the city. So Further requesting $150,000 to purchase a bucket truck to maintain, remove, and replace cameras in known dumping areas within the city. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the library director requesting a supplemental operating budget increase for fiscal 2015 of $33,602. This would bring the fiscal 2015 operating budget to $2,127,000. The increase is needed in order to meet the minimum requirements for the State Aid Public Libraries Award certification based on the formula by state law. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Council says that's accepted and placed on file. Communication from the <coughs> CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. We have the petition of John Ruin uh, <coughs> Quincy for a license to suspend a sign at 379 Belmont Street, writing for the committee with a return of uh, favorable. Council's questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Yes. 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 Yes.
appointment of Rob May <coughs> to the position of Director of Planning and Economic Development for the City of Brockton for a five-year term ending June 2019 and City Council June 23rd, 2014. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, this question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you would please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. McGuire. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Appointment is hereby confirmed. The appointment of John Ash Stacco, Brockton, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years and Council May 27, 2014. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council, the question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please read the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Watt. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Council's reappointment is confirmed. Appropriation of $89,969.70 from U.S. Department of Justice, Bureau of Justice, Assistant Fiscal 13 Grant to Brockton Police Fiscal 13 Justice Assistant Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used to continue the community's proactive approach in assisting victims of domestic and community violence by hiring a part-time social worker to be housed at the Brockton Police Department in Council June 23, 2014. Before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please read the roll? Azak. Yes. Uh, yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Wow. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. 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 Appropriation is hereby adopted. An appropriation of $130,000 from the Stabilization Fund to the MSBA Accelerator Repair Program for Asheville Middle School, Barrett Russell School, Brookfield School, and the Gil Moore School Early Childhood Center in order to provide funding to collaborate with the MSBA in conducting a feasibility study for potential roof, boiler, window, and door replacement at the named schools. However, for the record, the stabilization fund balance prior to a favorable vote is only $2.4 million. Additional future funding from city sources will impose a significant financing challenge, even with state assistance at 80%. The certification letter is not applicable to these future costs, which will likely be from Bari, with City Council approval, to be sought at a later date. In Council June 23rd, Braddon referred to the Standing Committee of Finance. That report is favorable. Council's question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. 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 Council's appropriations adopted. Ordered that the City Council authorize the approval of the net metering power purchase agreement between Nugent Capital Management LLC and the City of Brockton. This agreement is for the purchase of solar power from a solar plant which will save the city in electricity cost. In Council June 23rd, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please read the roll? Yes. 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 order is hereby adopted. <laughs> order that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to enter the intermunicipal agreement between the Town of Abington and the City of Brockton for transport and treatment of wastewater from Abington and transmission. This agreement is intended to supersede and replace the current agreement between the parties. In Council, June 23rd, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council Stadinsky. Mr. President. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I am going to be making a motion to be continued to the next uh, month's meeting uh, okay. of the Finance Committee first and then back in. And the reason for this is there are questions that were posed to me after that meeting, and even a couple today, that I couldn't answer that I need. In particular, I need David Norton, or whoever's running the plant down there. And uh, I need Mr. Nezrella back for some contingency items. I'm not an attorney. I don't know what's been written in, but if, uh, if it's going to cost us money down the road to take this cake and put it someplace else, I think that should be written into the contract so we don't fall into any, any type of snare with that. So with that, I make a motion that this be sent back to the Finance Committee. We'll meet on in August and bring it back up in August. Second. Second. 
Council, valid points. Thank you. Motion made and properly seconded. We're going to continue that to the uh, FinCom, the only FinCom we have in August. August 18th, all in favor? All opposed, that motion carries. We're going to continue that until August 18th. Thank you, Councillor. Resolved that the Mayor's Superintendent of Utilities and the members of the Water Commission be invited to appear before the committee of this council to discuss the rate charges charged for water in the city. In council June 23rd, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. No. Wow. No. No. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. No. Stewart. No. Skazinski. No. Sullivan. No. Board and affirmative seven and negative. Passes out resolved fails. Resolved that the representatives of the Department of Public Works be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the possibility of implementation of uniform trash barrels in council June 23rd, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please read the roll? Yes. 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 Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Resolve is hereby adopted. President. Council Dubois. I'd like to make a motion to take number 40 through no 41, 42, and 43 collectively and under suspension of the rules. Second. Motion made to take uh, collectively 40 through 43 yes. and under suspension of the rules. Motion was made properly. Second. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed. Motion carries. Mr. Clerk. Order that the DPW is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to the properties owned by James Morrissey, Lot 1 on Melrose Street. Authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to the properties owned by James Morrissey, Lot 2 on Melrose. Order that the DPW authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to the properties owned by Laris Lucia, 0 North Avenue. Order that the DPW is authorized to issue a one single family home sewer connection to the properties owned by Ralph Smith, plot 44 Winter Street. Council Dubois, just for the record, could you explain the basis for the suspension of the rules, just for the record? Thank you very much. The basis for the suspension of the rules is at summer session, and right now, Ward 6 has the most single family home development going on across the whole city, and so the iron is hot for these folks. I've spoke with um, the people at the DPW, they say it will not affect the um, the the sewer connection uh, conduits that are pro troubled in Ward 6 is a different area. So that's why I asked for a suspension of the rules so we don't hold up this development. Thank you, Councilor. We'll, we'll note that in the record. Council is 40 through 43 now. Uh, question on those uh, on a, relative to adoption is by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, could you please read the roll? Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zidinsky. Yes. Yes. Councillors, uh, agenda items 40 through 43, those orders are hereby adopted. Mr. President. Council Dubois. I'd like to make a motion for reconsideration in the hope that it does not second. prevail. Second. Motion made uh, and uh, reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail is properly <coughs> second. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you. Thank you. But in compliance with the provisions of election laws, notice is hereby given that the state primary will be held on Tuesday, September 9, 2014. That is referred to Finance Committee. Order that the City of Brockton does hereby take as temporary construction easements and as permanent easements for highway purposes the parcels identified as TE1 through TE96 and parcel identified E-1 through E-4 inclusive on Exhibit A and Exhibit B as shown on the plan entitled Plan Showing Temporary Construction Easements and Permanent Easements, West Elm Street, Brockton. Councilors, that's referred to Finance Committee and Planning. Order that the City Council hereby declare 226 Main Street, Map 110, Route 19, Part 368, available for disposition and sale, and further that the mayor be and hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property by sale to the Commonwealth of Mass, a vision of capital asset management and maintenance for the purchase price of $1. Refer to find our real estate committee. Ordered that the city council authorize the acceptance of donation of $150 for market basket, the City of Brockton Emergency Management Agency, which will be used to build the water and food reserve. That is referred to Finance Committee. 
out of that pursuant to section 23-30, one, excuse me, four, the city council hereby approves the rules and regulations entitled irrigation outside usage meter adopted by the water commission. Board of Finance Committee. Ordered that $1,750,000 is appropriated to pay costs of making various sewer system repairs and improvements throughout the city, including design and bidding costs, and including without limitation all costs thereof as defined in Section 1, Chapter 29C of the General Laws. That to meet this appropriation, <coughs> the Treasurer, with the approval of Mayor, is authorized to borrow and issue bonds or notes. For the Finance Committee. Ordered Mass General Laws, Chapter 258, Section 13 provides for, by local acceptance, indemnification of municipal officers elected or appointed for personal financial loss and expense, including reasonable legal fees and costs, if any, in any amount not to exceed $1 million. For the Finance Committee. Appropriation of $33,602 from unappropriated fiscal 2015 estimated receipts to library purchase of services building in order to meet the minimum requirements for state aid public libraries award certification based on the formula by state law. For the Finance Committee. Creation of 249000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, the Refuse Enterprise Fund, to Refuse Enterprise Fund Capital to provide funding to purchase a bucket truck and 15 new surveillance cameras for the Department of Public Works. The purpose of purchasing the bucket truck is to maintain, remove, and replace cameras in known dumping areas as needed within the city. Let us refer to Finance Committee Councils. Appropriation of $45,000 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Mass Department of Mental Health, Police Base Jail Division Grant for 2015, the City of Brockton Police Department Jail Division Grant Fund. This grant gives the Brockton Police Department overtime funds to continue to train first responders in a specialized field of mental health first aid. For the Finance Committee. A resolve that the mayor and the superintendent of schools be invited to appear before a committee of this council <coughs> to discuss hiring trends in the city and the school department and promoting diversity in hiring. That is referred to finance committee. Resolved that the members of the compensation committee be invited to appear before a committee of this council to report on its findings and recommendations. That two councils refer to finance committee. We have the granting of Verizon New England Inc. and Massachusetts Electric Company requesting permission to relocate one pole, pole 54 slash 41 on Pleasant Street. This petition is necessary in order to accommodate project 600365. Question is on granting councils. All in favor, raise your hand. All pause, it's granted. The granting of National Grid proposing to install conduits concrete and case between MH226 and MH11 Montello Street at Ward Street, AKA Petronelli Way, approximately 31 feet. Question comes before us on granting. All in favor, granting, raise your hand. All opposed, it's granted. Councils, I have a late file. Make a motion to accept. Second. Second. Right. Motion made properly, seconded to accept the late file. All in favor, all opposed, motion carries. In Council July 28, 2014, resolve that the Mayor, William Carpenter, City Solicitor Philip Nazarelli, Jr., Mr. David Farrell, Veteran Service Officer, and Ms. Janice Fitzgerald, Director of the Council of Aging, come before the Finance Committee to discuss the Senior Citizens and Veterans Volunteer Program ordinances passed in 2013 by the City Council and to explain why the city has yet to offer this program to its qualified residents. This was submitted by Councilor Robert F. Sullivan, Council at Large. For the Finance Committee. Councilors, a couple just points of information. I'm sure all of you got the email today that Governor Patrick will be in the City of Champions tomorrow, 10, 15 a.m. at Brockton a Neighborhood Health Center. Uh, if you can make it, if your schedule permits, I'm sure the governor would love to see you. Um, I, I believe uh, Councilor Anieri didn't hear you. Could you just repeat that? Please? Not Councilor Stadensky. I'm sorry. Governor Patrick is coming to Brockton tomorrow at 1015 Legion Parkway, Brockton Neighborhood Health Center. They invited uh, all the city councilors to join the governor if, you, if your schedule permits. Thank you. Councilors again, summer session, August 18th, Finance Committee here at 7, August 25th, the following Monday, 8 o'clock, City Council. And I would be remiss without uh, notifying everybody that one of our number one constituents who sits here every week, Bruce Hammond, also known as the downtown artist, is selling his, celebrating his 50th birthday this coming week. And Bruce, oh, uh, Bruce. <laughs> anything else before us, councilors? Anything else? Seeing none, matters closed. <laughs>